Good day, Manga Andrian. We are now with the third type of factoring, and that is factoring sum and difference of two cubes. Last week, we discussed about the GCMF or the greatest common monomial factor, and the other one is the difference of two squares, right? So this morning, another type of factoring, but before that, let us first have, let's, uh, let us first find the cube root of the following. By the way, how to find the cube root? A cube root is when you multiply three numbers and then the answer will be this one, the given. Example number one. What is the cube root of one? The answer is one. Why? Because one times one times one is equal to one. That's why the cube root of one is one. How about the cube root of eight? The answer is, okay, correct, that's two. Because two times two times two is equal to eight. How about the cube root of 64? That is four. Because four times four, 16. 16 times four, that's a 64. Okay, let's proceed with the variable. How to find the cube root of x cubed? The answer is x. Why? Because x times x times x equals x cubed. Okay? Or simply, you divide the exponent by 3. How about the cube root of y to the 6th power? So, an answer. That is y squared. Because y squared times y squared times y squared equals y to the 6th power. Again, or simply, I divide mo lang yan ng 3, yung exponent ng variable. How about this last? We have here x cubed. What is the cube root of x cubed and y to the ninth power? Again, what is the cube root of x cubed? That is x. What is the cube root of y to the ninth power? That is y cubed. That's it. I think you've learned how to find the cube root. I think you're ready now on how to factor some difference of two cubes. Okay, there are two types here. The sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes. A, poly a polynomial is said to be sum and the difference of two cubes if it satisfies with these two conditions. First, the given must be binomial always. It must be binomial. Second is... The, the first and the last terms, it should be a cube or it should have a cube root, a whole number. Alright, um, if you observe x cubed plus y cubed, the pattern or the formula here is the factors are x plus y and the other one is a trinomial, x squared minus xy plus y squared. Here naman sa baba, we have x cubed minus y cubed. So, ang factors niya, isang x minus y, isang x squared plus xy plus y squared. If you observe, same lang yung mga variables yung answer. Saan sila nag-differ? Nag-differ sila sa operations na ginamit. Pag sa plus class, pag sa plus, um, observe mo yung una, isang positive, tapos plus, Tapos minus, tapos plus. Yan ang sa sum. Sum of two cubes. How about sa difference of two cubes? Ano ko na-observe nyo? Minus, tapos plus, plus. You have to familiarize these operations kasi yan lang talaga ipapalo natin mamaya. Okay. Did you understand? Alright. Do you have any question? Okay, wala. Okay, let's proceed now with factoring na talaga. Factoring some difference of two cubes class, we have here the procedures or the steps on how to factor this type of polynomials. First, get the cube root of each term. I think you know how to find the cube root of a number or a variable or an expression. Second, 
taking the operation between the cubes, meaning if follow lang do yung operations ng given, form the first factor using the roots of the cube of uh, in step one. Um, pag form ka na ng factor, following yung ano yung cube root ng sa step one. Um, form the second factor. So form the second trinomial factor as follows. Okay, we will follow this one. Square the first cube, multiply the two terms, the cube roots, then square the second cube root. Alright? So following these procedures, let us start. Okay, number one. Factor x cubed plus 64. The given is sum of two cubes or difference of two cubes? The answer is sum of two cubes. Very good. Okay, number one, get the cube root of each term. What is the cube root of x cubed? That is x. What is the cube root of the second term 64? That is 4. Okay, taking the operation between the cubes, ano yung operation niya? Sum. So, we will form the first factor. The first factor is a binomial. Okay, i-follow ko lang, sinulat ko lang. Sabi niya, take the operation. Kopyahin lang yung operation, which is plus. Meron ka ng isang factor ngayon. Alright, paano... Uh, gawin ang isang trinomial factor or the second factor. First, i-follow natin to. Square the first cube. Ano yung first cube class? X. Square daw yan. Ano ang square ng X? X times X. The answer is X squared. Very good. Second, multiply the two cube roots. Okay, i-multiply mo daw yung dalawa. Multiply. Multiply x times 4. The answer is, walang x4 ha. Dapat mauna talaga yung number before the variable. Hindi x4. The answer is 4x. So, lagay na natin dyan, 4x. The last one, square the second root. Ito na naman, yung second root, square. Ano ang square ng 4? 4 times 4, the answer is, 16. Very good. Question. Ano ang mga operation dito? Plus 1 dito. Ano ang next? Minus. Tapos. Plus. Always remember, basta sum. Plus. Minus. Plus. Again ha? Ang anong, anong ginawa ko kanina? Cube root ng x cube? Yan ang na. X cube root ng 64? 4. Bakit? 4. 4 times 4, 16 times 4. Tatlohin, i-multiply mo siya. So that's 4. After that, kopyahin lang ang dalawa, i-follow ang given operation. So meron ka lang isang factor. After that, square, multiply, square. Okay, let's proceed with the second one. Number 2, factor 8 minus y to the 6th power. First, what is the cube root of 8? Okay, that's 2. What is the cube root of y to the 6th power? y squared. Very good. Okay? Um, and form the first factor by just copying it to y squared. So, take the operation. Sabi dyan. So, 2 minus y squared. So, meron tayong factor. Ano yung isa? What would be the other one? The other trinomial. Ano ganyan gawin? First, square. So, square mo na yan. 2 times 2. That's 4. Next, multiply. 2 times y square. 2y square. Very good. Last, square the second cube root. Square mo yan y squared times y squared. The answer is y to the fourth power. Very good. Kasi i-add lang exponent ha. Pag mag-add ka ng variables, ay pag multiply ka ng variables, i-add mo lang 2 plus 2, that's 4. Question, ano ang operation dito? Balik tayo dito sa difference. Minus plus plus. Minus plus plus. So, 
Ito na yung factors natin. Ito na ang sagot. Okay, box ko muna yung number one. Kalimutan ito. Okay. I hope you understand that. Let's proceed with the last two examples. Okay, this one. What is the cube root of one? What is the cube root of one? That's one. Very good. What is the cube root of a cube at saka b cube? Sa isahin natin, ano ang cube root ng a cube? That's a. Ano ang cube root ng b cube? That's b. Very good. Okay. Anong gawin sa dalawa? Form your first factor. You have one. Kopyahin ang operation ng given. That, that's minus. Kopyahin ang isang cube root. So, you have one minus ab. Another. Always remember ha, ang other factor is trinomial. Ang isa, binomial, two terms. Yung isa, trinomial. Tatlo. Anong unang gawin dito? Sige. Anong answer dito sa unang blank? What's the answer? One. Bakit one? Saan mo kinuha? Because you will square this one. So, one times one, that's one. What will be the value here sa second blank? That's one AB. Walang one AB ha? Sa mathematics, hindi na nilalagay ang one. Okay? So, the answer is AB. Bakit? Multiply. So, 1 times AB, AB lang. Wag ng 1. Understand namin yan na may 1 talaga yan. So, parang hindi na sinusulang. Okay? May AB. How about dito sa third na blank? Um, what's the answer? A squared, B squared. Bakit? So, square mo pa rin yan. AB times AB. Okay? AB times AB. The answer is, i-add ang exponent. Sabi ko kanina, so 1 plus 1, we have 2. So 1 plus 1, we have 2. Add mo lang yan. May 1 kasi yan. Okay? We are now down with our last example. Alright. With our last example, what is the cube root of 8x to the 6th power? What is the cube root of 8? We have 2. What is the cube root of x to the 6th power? That's x squared. Again, another. What is the cube root of 125y cube? Ayan. What is the cube root of 125y cube? Ano ang cube root ng 125? Okay. 5. Bakit? 5 times 5, 25. 25 times 5, that's 125. Ano ang cube root ng y cube? Okay, very good. Why? Okay, form na your first factor. Kopyahin. 2x squared, 5y. Ano ang operation? That is plus kasi take the operation. Alright? Then form your Second factor, your trinomial na factor. Ano dito? Sige, magawa. Ano na ko ng blank? Ano ang first blank? Ano ang sagot? The answer is 4x to the 4th power. Bakit? Square mo yan siya. Square. Ano ibig sabihin ng square? I-multiply by itself. So, 2x squared times 2x squared the answer is 4x to the 4th power. Okay? Next, multiply. Anong answer? 2 times 5, 10. x squared, y. x squared, y lang talaga, no? So, pag multiply mo yan, 2x squared times 5y. So, 10x squared, y. Combine mo lang yung variables. Hindi sila makumbine talaga as 1 ang x at y. How about the last blank? What's the answer? Square this one. 5y times 5y. 5 times 5, 25. Y times y, that's y squared. So, anong operations dito? Pag plus, minus, tapos dito sa last, plus. So, ito ang ating answer ngayon. Sige, wait lang ha. I-box ko muna. 
ang sagot natin. Uy, wala. <laughs> Sorry. So, wala pa tayo. Wala pa tayo dito. So, minus. So, we have plus. Plus here. So, that, <laughs> that would be all for this morning. I hope you understand. Okay, thank you.